Hi, fourth grade. Today we're looking at lesson 4.6, multiply with regrouping, okay? Um, and as we're going through the steps today, I want you to apply what you already know about addition with regrouping um, to this next skill, all right? Um, so, again, we have three easy steps. Um, step one is to multiply the ones place. So we're going to multiply three by the ones place and by the tens place. So step one is multiply the ones. Step two is regroup, only if necessary. And then step three is to multiply the tens place, okay? Um, so just like before, we're multiplying the three by each of these digits. So up above, you're gonna see um, a represent, an equal groups representation of 35 times three, okay? We have three tens, 30 plus five ones, so 35 and we have three groups of 35, okay? Um, so I want you to be thinking about that equal groups representation as we're going through this. Um, our first step tells us we need to multiply the ones place. So I'm going to multiply 3 times 5. Well, I know that 3 times 5 is 15. But can I put 15 in the ones place? No. The answer is no, I cannot because I can only put one digit in the ones place. So that means that we need to regroup. Okay, so down here I've grabbed my five ones from each of the groups um, and it's, I'm showing it down here. So I have 15 ones. And since I know that I need to regroup, I'm going to trade 10 of these ones for a 10 because I know 10 ones is equal to 10. Okay, so here you can see I've taken 10 of the ones and I'm going to trade it for a 10, and then we're going to count how many ones I have left over. I have one, two, three, four, five ones left over. So in my ones place, I'm going to write the number five, and then this 10 that I traded, I'm going to put over here above my tens, because all the tens belong in the tens place together, okay? So my tens is over here now. All right, so I'm done with my ones. Now I'm going to move on, and I've regrouped. So now I'm going to move on to step three, which is to multiply the tens. All right. I know that three times three is nine, but I can't forget to add this extra ten because we've regrouped. So three times three is nine plus one is ten. And since there's nothing else left to multiply, all I have to do is write down ten, and I see that I have 105 as my product. Okay, and I could check my answer by looking up at my three groups of 35 and counting. Um, so first I'm going to count my tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, plus 10 more, which is 100, if I counted these ones, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105. So, my answer is correct. 35 times 3 is 105. Let's practice these same steps again, okay? So step one is to multiply our, so our, aunt, our, excuse me, our problem is 46 times 2. Two groups of 46. So step one is always to multiply the 2 by the 1s. So 2 times 6 is 12. And I know that I cannot write 12 in my 1s place. Okay, so I have to regroup. So what that's going to look like is I know that I know that if I took 12 and I put it into expanded form, 12 is equal to 10 plus 2. Okay, so I'm going to put these two ones in my ones place where they go, and I'm going to put the 10 over here in the tens place. Okay, so you see how I regrouped there because I cannot put 12 here. So I take the ones away, stick it here and then I move my 10 over to the tens place. Okay, so I've broken this into expanded form. I'm done with step one, which is multiply the ones. I'm done with step two, which is regroup. Now I'm on to step three. Two times four is eight, and then we can't forget to add the one up here, which is nine. So our answer is 92. 46 times two is 92. Let's all right, good job, fourth grade.